Good day everyone, welcome to DDM Trends. Today we're going to be looking at trending issues in Nigeria. First, let's take a look at Tony Abraham. The video of popular Nollywood actress Tony Abraham has gone viral on the internet where she was seen lamenting over the piracy of her new movie, Malaika. The actress has sworn that she is going to join the fight against piracy for the good of the movie creation industry. Let's take a look at the video. If you look at me, you will know that I'm actually not okay. I had to come from the hospital. I've been having panic attack, you know. It's not easy shooting a movie for over close to 500 million and you just see it out there. So I saw my movie and another movie. I was like, am I dreaming? He said, no, you are not dreaming. And the next thing, they put it on telegram telling people they are going to upload it by 12. So I, my manager was like, I said, open the link. I opened the link. I saw Malaika. I wanted to run mad. It's like my whole world, whole world is coming to an end right in front of me. You know, and as a woman, I was crying, blah, blah, blah. My manager just don't worry. They started making calls. My godparents, my husband, the team, film one team, they started making calls. So we started calling. So they had to, we started calling the tech guys, started calling, getting out to get to Google. I called my sister, they were trying to get in touch with Telegram. So the next thing, they started breaking the link. So my manager was the one, Shem, Otumba Shem was sending money, paying, Film 1, 2 was doing their part, they were breaking the link. So they've already uploaded the other one on Telegram. What they were about to do, they started, started breaking the link. I have it on my phone. They started, Google started sending us email telling us the link has been broken. We'll get an alert that someone else is trying to. So we keep breaking, keep breaking. And thank God we were able to break it. But I know a lot of people still have it. And you know, I, I went to the, to the level, I was desperate to the level that I had to start going on Telegram, begging them begging those guys one of the guys even told me that I should send an email <laughs> he said i should send an email to a particular email I said on my film because i don't know what to do this is my life this is the only thing i do that is why i decided to take it upon myself myself my manager film one to fight piracy and this is not about me it's not about malaika it's not about any moving cinema is not about tribe but it's about the creative industry it's about the entertainment industry because this is the only thing we do now this video has caused a lot of rumble on the internet and a lot of people have different things to say to Tony Abraham let's go to the trend and see what people are saying distinguished KPMG said Tony Abraham hates pirates but does not hate drug dealers please help me tell us what you baby that's all that evil. Austin said, Tony Abraham, lamenting about her movie that was hijacked by pirates. Karma is a bitch, right? This is how people feel when their votes were ambushed and are stolen by politicians you support. Mm. The next person said, Tony Abraham hates pirates but doesn't hate rigging with a funny emoji. <laughs> the next comment from Naya said, I actually skipped anything that involves Tony Abraham. She was totally disgusting during the last election and it shows the kind of person she is, a woman without morals. That will be all for this trend. Now let's move to the next trend which is Fran. A letter from the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria has gone viral on the internet. From this letter we can see that the fan headquarters located in Abuja is being relocated back to Lagos and this has caused a lot of controversy on the internet. A lot of people have different things to say. Let us move into the trend and see what Nigerians are saying about this video. Sarah Ibrahim said, first it was CBN and now it is fan. Watch what is playing out. These mandate bandits are moving everything to Lagos. This is why they rather die than ensure any port functions in any state apart from the one in Apapa. Nigerians, all we said is happening. Abdulhazi says, then all the oil companies in Nigeria should move their headquarters to Niger Delta region. Also, relocate agriculture and commerce ministry's headquarters to north. Without doing this, moving fan and CBN to Lagos will be an absolute injustice. We all know who won.
once said he doesn't believe in one Nigeria, but at least pretend. Kao Gaba said CBN headquarters has been moved to Lagos. Fan is now moving to Lagos. Is President Tinubu planning to move the entire presidential villa and FCT back to Lagos? Joe of Africa said they have moved the security into Abuja and are now moving government offices out of Abuja to Lagos. First, CBN. Second, Fan. Which one is next? We saw these people for who they are. That's why we fought so hard to build a movement to restore hope and sanity in government. Aluta Continua. Now let's move to our next trend. Alex Oti. The governor of Abia State, Dr. Alex Oti, has inaugurated the Abia Global Economic Advisory Council, which includes the former minister, Dr. Ngozi Kundre Iwala, and the former CBN governor, Emia Sanusi, as well as other strong professionals. This has sparked conversations on the internet with people running different economies, praising the works of Dr. Alex Oti. A lot of people have different things to say about their testimonies of what the governor is doing in Abia State. Let's dive into the trend and see what Nigerians are saying. Demagogue said, with the way Alex Oti is moving, I'm not sure that this ambition is just to be a governor. Seems he is eyeing something bigger. It's nice to watch though. Sports Dokita said, Abia State is the best state to invest at the moment. Alex Oti is pulling out all the stocks and bringing the big guns of economics to make sure Abia State is the honey that attracts the international bees of investments. Welcome to the new Abia. Royal Spotlight said, check the names of the people that makes up the economic committee of Governor Alex Oti. Drawn from all parts of Nigeria, people who are ready to make things happen. Distinguished KPMG saying, Alex Oti, the governor, is appointing a more competent team than Tinibu who has more resources. But you are hopeful that Tinibu will perform. Funny. That will be all today for DDM Trends. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media handles at DiasporaDM on Twitter and Instagram. Please subscribe.